In the heart of every individual lies a warrior, waiting for a chance to shine. The unbeatable mindset isn't about vanquishing enemies in battlefields or achieving physical dominance. It's a philosophy that delves deeper, touching the realms of mental fortitude, resilience, and unwavering determination. Today's world is riddled with challenges and uncertainties, from career obstacles to interpersonal conflicts. Yet within this landscape lies a potent opportunity to cultivate a mindset that not only withstands these adversities, but thrives amidst them. This is where the concept of the unbeatable steps in, anchored in the teachings of the legendary Miyamoto Musashi, but tailored for the 21 saint century individual. Being unbeatable isn't about never facing setbacks or challenges. Instead, it's about how we respond to them. It's about standing back up, even after countless failures, and moving forward with an even stronger resolve. It means viewing obstacles not as hindrances, but as opportunities for growth. In our modern context, an unbeatable mindset can be a game changer. Whether you're an entrepreneur facing intense competition, an artist trying to find your unique voice, or someone navigating the complexities of personal relationships, embracing this philosophy can propel you to new heights. It teaches you to be resilient in the face of adversity, innovative in problem-solving, and unwavering in your pursuit of excellence. As we delve deeper into the principles inspired by Musashi, remember, being unbeatable is not a destination, but a journey. It's a continuous process of self-improvement, learning, and growth. So, are you ready to unlock this power within and redefine the very essence of success in your life? Join us on this transformative exploration. At the core of every legendary warrior's journey is a clear purpose, an undying flame that illuminates their path even in the darkest of times. Miyamoto Musashi was no exception. While his legacy often fixates on his undefeated record in duels or his mastery of the sword, what truly set him apart was his unwavering vision. This sense of purpose was not solely about becoming the best swordsman, but transcended to his quest for personal growth and understanding. Fast forward to today and we find ourselves in an era often described as the age of distraction. With a myriad of tasks vying for our attention, it's more critical than ever to possess a concrete vision, a beacon to guide us through the maze of life. Setting goals isn't just about scribbling down a wish list on New Year's Eve. It's a sacred act of introspection, of understanding one's desires and mapping out a journey to achieve them. Musashi's principles can teach us that goals are more than mere endpoints. They are landmarks on our path to self-realization. First, clarity is paramount. Just as Musashi approached every duel with a clear strategy, we must define our objectives with precision. Avoid vague ambitions like, I want to be happy or I want success. Instead, strive for specific targets like, I wish to master the art of painting, or I aim to lead a project by year's end. Next, intertwine your goals with a sense of purpose. Every aspiration should resonate with your inner values, contributing to the grand tapestry of your life's mission. This alignment ensures that even when the road gets tough, your motivation remains unyielding. Lastly, remember that like Musashi's path of continuous learning, goal setting is dynamic. It requires regular reflection, evaluation, and recalibration. As you evolve, so will your objectives. Revisit them, refine them, and relentlessly pursue them with the spirit of a warrior on a noble quest. Embrace Musashi's wisdom and let it guide you in chiseling out a vision that's both profound and personal. In doing so, you'll not just be setting goals, you'll be charting a course for a life of purpose, passion, and unparalleled achievement. The legendary Miyamoto Musashi wasn't merely a master swordsman. He was a strategic genius who epitomized the harmonious union of logic and intuition. His Nitin Ichiryu style, wielding two swords simultaneously, wasn't just a testament to his physical prowess, but symbolized a profound philosophical approach that's incredibly pertinent in our modern decision-making landscapes. Picture this. In one hand, Musashi wielded a longer sword, representing logical reasoning, data, and concrete facts. In the other, he brandished a shorter blade, symbolic of instinct, gut feelings, and intuition. The seamless interplay of these two mind blades was what made him an unstoppable force. Today, our lives are inundated with decisions, ranging from trivial daily choices 
to life-altering crossroads. And much like Musashi on the battlefield, we're equipped with two invaluable tools, our analytical cognition and our intuitive insights. So, how do we cultivate this two-sword mindset? Acknowledge both blades. Recognize that neither logic nor intuition is inherently superior. Each has its time and place. Rational analysis is essential when evaluating information, while intuition can guide us when data is lacking or during quick-paced situations. Practice switching hands. Musashi was adept at alternating between his swords, depending on the situation. Cultivate this flexibility by deliberately making some decisions based primarily on logic and others grounded in intuition. Over time, you'll refine your ability to discern which blade to lead with. Sharpen each sword. Just as a blade requires regular honing, nurture both your analytical and intuitive faculties. Engage in critical thinking exercises, puzzle solving, or debates to enhance your logical skills. Meanwhile, meditative practices, introspection, and even arts can heighten your intuitive sensitivities. Embrace the dance. Musashi's strength lay not just in his dual wielding, but in the dance between the blades, how they complemented and enhanced each other. When faced with a decision, allow your logical assessments and intuitive inklings to converse, challenge, and harmonize with one another. The outcome will often be a decision that feels both sound in reason and right at heart. In an age where algorithms and gut feelings constantly tug us in different directions, the two-sword mindset serves as a beacon. It reminds us that in the dance between logic and intuition, much like Musashi's intertwining blades, lies the path to unbeatable decision-making. In our dynamic world, where challenges constantly evolve, Success isn't just about finding solutions. It's about crafting solutions that can pivot and transform. This is where the prowess of adaptive thinking comes into play. A skill set drawing inspiration from Miyamoto Musashi's fluidity in combat. But how does one embrace such a mindset in modern problem solving and innovation? Shift the perspective. Much like a swordsman scans the battlefield from different vantage points, approach problems from multiple angles. Asking why, repeatedly, or using the six thinking hats technique can offer fresh perspectives on seemingly stagnant issues. Embrace ambiguity. Not every problem comes with a clear-cut solution. Engage with the uncertain, the gray zones. Remember, it's an ambiguity that creativity often thrives. Iterative problem solving. Don't aim for the perfect solution right away. Approach challenges and iterations, refining your solutions with each pass. Much like a sculptor, shapes his masterpiece progressively. Cross-pollinate ideas, merge concepts from diverse fields. Musashi studied arts and crafts alongside martial strategies. Likewise, blend principles from seemingly unrelated domains to foster innovative solutions. Engage in playful experimentation. Sometimes, the most profound solutions emerge from playful tinkering. Create a safe environment to experiment where failure is seen as a stepping stone not a setback. Develop a growth mindset. Believe in the ability to develop and expand your skills. By understanding that abilities can be honed with effort, you'll be more inclined to tackle challenges head on. Learn from them and adapt. Mindfulness and reflection. Regular introspection can sharpen adaptive thinking. By being present in the moment, you can pick up subtleties and nuances, leading to better problem solving. Leverage collective intelligence. Two heads are often better than one. Engage in collaborative brainstorming, tapping into diverse viewpoints and experiences. This collective approach can propel a solution to new heights. Stay informed. In our rapidly evolving world, yesterday's information might not solve today's problems. Continuously update your knowledge bank, staying agile and informed. Adaptive thinking doesn't just equip us with tools to solve the problem at hand. It preps us for challenges we haven't even encountered yet. In imbibing this fluidity and resilience, we position ourselves not just as problem solvers, but as avant-garde innovators, always ready, always adapting. Miyamoto Musashi, a figure both formidable and revered, didn't merely triumph in physical confrontations. His prowess lay equally in his indomitable spirit and mental fortitude. Such resilience, while inherent to a samurai, is equally crucial in our modern-day battles, from career challenges to personal upheavals.
By embracing Musashi's tenets, we can sculpt our own fortress of the mind. Foremost among Musashi's teachings is the understanding that the mind state dictates external reality. Like a still pond reflects the sky perfectly, a calm mind provides clarity. Achieving this stillness, especially amidst chaos, requires training and conscious effort. Next, immerse oneself in the present moment. Musashi's duels were won by being entirely present, perceiving slight shifts in the opponent's stance or intention. For us, mindfulness practices can hone this skill, enabling acute awareness and clear decision-making even under stress. Embracing the continuous journey of learning and self-improvement was another cornerstone. The more we expose ourselves to challenges, willingly stepping outside comfort zones, the sturdier our mental resilience becomes. Like tempered steel, repeatedly forged and cooled, our mental resilience too is built through repeated trials. Another key aspect is the acceptance of impermanence. Just as Musashi recognized the fleeting nature of life, understanding and accepting life's transient nature helps steel oneself against unexpected upheavals. Lastly, strategic withdrawal, a tactic Musashi employed in duels, allows for recuperation and reflection, recognizing when to take a step back, whether from a stressful situation or an overwhelming emotion, provides the space to regroup and approach with renewed vigor. By integrating these principles into daily life, we don't just cultivate resilience. We empower ourselves with an unyielding mental shield, ready to face life's challenges head on, standing unbeatable and unbroken. In Musashi's duels, every move was a dialogue, every stance a statement. While we might not be wielding swords today, our words carry the same power and precision in shaping our interactions. Effective communication is key to navigating life's challenges, and Musashi's principles can guide us in mastering this art. At the heart of successful communication lies active listening. By fully immersing ourselves in what the other person is saying, we mirror Musashi's focus during combat, where understanding an opponent's intent was paramount. Such genuine attention not only conveys respect, but also ensures clarity. Another essential is maintaining a calm demeanor, akin to Musashi's composed stance during duels. By staying grounded, we are better equipped to articulate thoughts and manage disagreements without letting emotions cloud judgment. Musashi was also a proponent of strategic silence, understanding that sometimes saying nothing speaks volumes. In our interactions, knowing when to pause or hold back can be as impactful as the most eloquent speech. Lastly, just as Musashi adapted to his opponent's style, we too should be flexible in our communication, tailoring our approach based on the person and situation at hand. This adaptability ensures understanding and minimizes conflicts. By channeling Musashi's principles, we can navigate the intricate dance of interpersonal interactions with grace, ensuring clear, respectful, and effective communication. Just as a samurai meticulously plans every move in battle, considering both the immediate skirmish and the overarching war, we too must approach our life's journey with similar precision. To truly master the art of living, one must be both the general and the foot soldier, understanding the big picture while being prepared to delve into the trenches of daily challenges. It's about recognizing your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's about setting clear goals, both short-term and long-term, and aligning your daily actions with your overarching mission. This precision in plotting one's life journey does not mean being rigid. It means being prepared, adaptable, and committed. It's the recognition that while we can't control everything that comes our way, we can control our response, our strategy. By mapping our life with the precision of a samurai, we not only navigate challenges more effectively, but also uncover paths to success we might otherwise have missed. Musashi was not just defined by his prowess in battle, but also by his unwavering discipline and routines. Much like a blade is forged through repetitive strokes and consistent heat, so too is excellence crafted through habitual practice. The same ethos that saw Musashi rise with the sun to hone his skills can be infused into our daily lives. In the rush of modern existence, it's easy to let habits slide or to adopt those which don't serve our greater purpose. However, just as Musashi meticulously maintained his swords, we must sharpen our daily routines, 
This means recognizing the power of consistency, the value of early mornings, and the transformative effect of small daily actions. Whether it's setting aside time for reflection, prioritizing physical fitness, or committing to continuous learning, these habits become the pillars of our personal excellence, living the unbeatable life, mastery, fulfillment, and the samurai spirit. As we've journeyed through Musashi's principles and applied them to various facets of life, one thing becomes clear. His teachings are not just about combat, but about mastering the art of living. An unbeatable life isn't one without challenges, but one where challenges are met with grit, grace, and growth. True dominance isn't about conquering others, but about mastering oneself. It's about recognizing that every obstacle is an opportunity, every setback a lesson, and every triumph a stepping stone to greater heights. By integrating the wisdom of Musashi with our modern context, we unlock a life where fulfillment is not a fleeting moment, but a constant state, embodying the spirit of the samurai. We don't just navigate life's battles, we rise as champions, leaving an indelible mark on the world.